on.
on testing uh, from boardroom can someone please confirm the sound is audible boardroom ah are you in the are you okay thank you thank you please mute please mute
Somebody is going from Karnataka to Yeah. Okay. With the permission of Honorable Chief Guest, shall we please begin? With the permission of the Honorable Chief Guest, shall we please commence with the program? Thank you, ma'am. Good morning. Respected Honorable Finance Minister, Government of India, Secretary, Department of Economic Affairs, Advisor, Administration and CNC, Board of Directors of SPMCIL, Chairman and Managing Director, SPMCIL, all Chief General Managers connected from the respective units and corporate office, senior officers, individual awardees, employee representatives of Apex Bipartite Forum, Trust Cell, and SCST OBC Association. I welcome you all to the 19th Foundation Day celebrations of SPMCIL. Our organization, SPMCIL, has completed 18 years of its existence on 10th February 2024. 
A strong foundation is the key to creating long-term success and our organization is built up on a very strong foundation as it has inherited a rich legacy. But over a span of these 18 years, our organization has constantly evolved with new technology, trends and ways of doing business. It is said that a corporation is a living organism. It has to continue to shed its skin. Methods have to change, focus has to change, and values have to change. The sum total of all these changes is transformation. SPMCIL is undoubtedly a successful example of transition and transformation into a well-established corporatized entity. Indeed, our Foundation Day is therefore the time to celebrate our achievements, reflect on our progress, and set our sights on even higher goals. With this, we commence the program and I request CMD Sir for his welcome address. Please, Sir. Thank you. Namaskar and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today on the occasion of 19th Foundation Day of the SPMCIL, it gives me immense pleasure to welcome our Chief Guest, Srimati Nirmala Sitaraman, Honorable Prime, uh, Finance Minister, Government of India, Madam, we are privileged to have you among us today, and we thank you for taking out of your busy schedule to extend your support. Your esteemed presence has indeed glorified the event and added vibrancies to our humble gathering. I am pleased to welcome Sri Ajay Seth, Secretary, Department of Economic Affairs, Government of India. Sir, we are truly honored by your presence today, and we are thrilled to have you and share this momentous occasion with us. I also take this opportunity to extend our warm welcome to all esteemed members of Board of SPMCIL, the Independent Director, and Mrs. Aparna Bhatia, Advisor in Charge Coin and Currency Division, Department of Economic Affairs. All our nine units are, and corporate units are also connected for this function, so I welcome all the employees, including the industrial worker, staff, recognized union office bearer, STSC, OBC Association, and executive of SPMCIL family. You are all welcome to this virtual event. This is a significant day for the SPMCIL as we celebrate the 98th Foundation Day. This is the day when we recognize outstanding performance of our employees as individual and of the unit collectively in a core area of functioning for the last financial year 2022-23. It is important to mention that under the guidance of Department of Economic Affairs, SPMCIL is constantly making effort for modernization of its unit and focus on the new business area and production of quality, sovereign, and security product for our country. Foundation Day is a solemn occasion to reaffirm our commitment for excellence and growth. We assure you, Madam, that SPMs will leave no stone unturned to continuously achieve the target and create opportunity for overall growth of our organization. Once again, a hearty welcome to all guests present here. Since the time is limited, now I request to please proceed with the program further. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the welcome address. And now we will launch our special souvenir coins. We are privileged that earlier also in the year 2022, colored coin series on the theme of Panch Tantra was launched by our honorable chief guest on the occasion of 17th Foundation Day. And this year again, we are proud to launch three souvenir coins. The first one is the color coin on endangered animals of India, the greater one horned rhino. And I would request Honorable Chief Guest Madam to please do the honors. The second coin is bi-metallic clad coin on enlightenment of Buddha. Oh. 
the third coin is the color coin on ayodhya ram mandir with color image of ram lalla on one side and ram mandir ayodhya on the other side thank you thank you ma'am for the honors moving on the achievements of an organization are the results of combined efforts of each individual on this special day we recognize and award the people who have contributed to our success and helped us become the organization that we are today we begin with the presentation of awards to the individual employees awardees are honored with a prize money of rupees 7500 and a certificate the prize money has already been transferred to their accounts digitally and the certificate will now be presented at the units by the respective chief general managers and at corporate office by chief general manager hr as per the sequential announcement and i begin with the unit bank note press devas yeah, i request cjm bnp to please do the honors The name of the awardees are Shri Mangesh Hiralkar, Manager, Technical Operations; next, Shri Ajab Singh Kumre, Senior Supervisor; Shri Ajab Singh Kumre, Senior Supervisor. Next, Shri Milind Khandwe, Executive Secretary. Thank you, sir. Going ahead, we have two units together: India Security Press Nasik and Currency Note Press Nasik. Chief General Manager I S P Nasik is currently holding the additional charge of Currency Note Press Nasik as well. So I would request C J M sir to please present the awards. First is India Security Press Nasik, and the awardees are Sri Chandrasekhar Kumar Lal Patle, Senior Supervisor. Next is Sri Santosh Bhaskar Gore, Senior Operator. Next is Sri Sadashiv Sukhdev Jadhav, Junior Checker. Thank you, sir. And the next unit, Currency Note Press Nasik. The awardees are Mrs. Surekha Debe, Supervisor, Finance and Accounts. Next, Sri Ravindra M. Parad, Operator, Junior Checker. next shri rajendra d mahale senior machine assistant from currency note press nasik we have an award for contribution in raj bhasha on behalf of corporate office which goes to shri loknath tiwari manager official language thank you thank you sir the next unit is security printing press hyderabad and i would request cgm spp hyderabad to please do the honors morning the awardees at security printing press hyderabad are shri d ravi kumar manager hr the next is shri k hemant kumar senior supervisor maintenance Thank you sir The next unit is security paper mill Narmadapuram I would request CGM SPM Narmadapuram to please present the awards and the award goes to Shri Sanchit Upadhyay Manager Technical Operations 
And next is Shri Alok Kumar Sinha, Supervisor. Thank you, sir. The next unit is India Government Hyderabad. And I would request Chief General Manager, India Government Hyderabad, to present the awards, please. The award goes to Shri Tanaji R. Shivalikar, Joint General Manager, R. India. Next is Shri B. Tirupati Rao, Senior Operator, Electrical. Thank you, sir. The next unit is India Government, Kolkata. I would request Good morning. CGM, India Government, Kolkata, to please present the clip. awards. The award goes to Sineha Ranjan Kandigari, Supervisor. The next is Shri Kamal Karmakar, Senior Operator. Thank you, sir. I now request CGM India Government Mumbai to present the awards. The award goes to Shri Saeed Mohammed Azim Hussain Mukadar, Supervisor Asset. The next awardee is Shri Suresh V. Shetty, Senior Office Assistant. Thank you, sir. The next unit is India Government Noida. I request Chief General Manager India Government Noida to present the awards. The award goes to Shri Hitesh Tanwar, Manager Technical Operations. Next awardee is Shri Amit Kumar Joshi, Office Assistant. Thank you, sir. And now from Corporate Office, I request Chief General Manager HR to please present the awards. Good morning. And the award goes to Shri Pradeep Saini, Deputy Manager Finance and Accounts. The next awardee is Shri Sachin Sharma, Office Assistant. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And now we move towards the next segment of awards. That is the Outstanding Performance of the Units and CMD Cup. These awards are decided based on meticulous evaluation of the data presented by the units on predefined parameters. And there is an element of surprise involved in this segment because these awards have not been announced before and are being announced right now. So, uh, the first category is productivity and the award goes to Bank Note Press Devas. <laughs> the next category is environment and safety. Environment and Safety and the award goes to Currency Note Press Nasik. The next category is Energy Conservation and the award goes to India Government Mint Mumbai. The next category is Learning and Development. The award goes to India Government Mint, Noida. <laughs> the next category is Official Language and the award goes to, once again, Karsi Note Press, Nasik. <laughs> next category is Vigilance. The award goes to Security Printing Press, Hyderabad. And now, the most prestigious award, CMD Cup for Overall Best Performance. And the award goes to India Security Press, Nasik. Indeed, a huge, huge round of applause and heartiest congratulations to all the awardees who are a source of inspiration to others as well.
thank you thank you so much and we are extremely honored with the presence of our honorable finance minister on this auspicious day i now request madam to please extend your valuable guidance which will lead spmcil to greater heights please ma'am good morning and uh, i'm happy to join you on your 19th uh, foundation day my good wishes and uh, greetings to all the sp mcil uh, team families employees who are uh, spread across and my particular greetings to all those who have won different uh, awards today for the various categories some of which as was announced were kept as a closely guarded secret till the last minute i can see uh invoking quite a enthusiastic applause from the recipients so good wishes and also i acknowledge the good work which is going on <clears throat> particularly i can see the dedication with which in the last few years i have had this organization really come out and stand out for their performance so let me place my appreciation on record for the excellent uh, uh recovery and also post covid that is recovery post covid and also to stand out and adjust to the various expectation of the government i understand it was in february 2006 that nine units which were earlier functioning as independent production units uh under the department of economic affairs have all come on board the spim spm cil uh and since 2006 they are all functioning as one large unit each doing its own share of the growth of this organization you stand out because you are your signature uh and the core strengths are manufacturing of bank notes circulation coins also commemorative coins and security products like the passports or non judicial stamps postal stamps and so on i think uh, the progress that this organization is making is also very inclusive in the way in which it has kept itself abreast of those aspects which uh, which show of india as a very thoughtful inclusive society i am referring to the fact that you have come up with a uh, a special series of circulating coins during the azadi ka amrit mahotsav and also for visually impaired uh people visually impaired friendly uh features which were brought in into it and that was released by the honorable prime minister in june 2022 these show that there's a lot of thought grow going in um uh, in the way in which you want to take this organization forward and also the themes with which of late you're coming up with either the production of stamps which are commemorative or the production of coins which are again commemorative uh show that you want to keep abreast of the developments uh in the world with the environment concerns concerns for divyang and also making it attractive enough to become those coins and the commemorative stamps attractive enough to become <coughs> items worthy of being gifted i will uh, put on record here that the department of economic affairs was right in giving me a selection of stamps all framed up nicely like the way the coins have been framed up today to gift during the world bank and imf meeting for all the bilateral discussions that i had with various 
finance ministers from various countries. And they were very happily received. They were on the Panchatantra team, very nicely received. And uh, I have been informed by many of them who met me subsequently that that uh, framed picture adores their office. And uh, they do fondly recall that we had exchanged it with them. So these are now becoming very reflective of India's branding the cultural and environment issues, which are very consciously uh, now uh, re getting reflected in the coins and the stamps that you produce. And also, uh, you're the most privileged organization for producing the country's uh, awards, the Bharat Ratna and Padma Bhushan and Paramvir Chakras and so on. And the way in which your gold and silver refining and assaying remain in a high order. So you have really set the standards for those and also for a very progressive looking <coughs> e-passport track and trace system, which is a very significant contribution towards ease of living and also for security prescriptions. So the citizen remains very confident that it can be tracked and traced. Equally, where there is a strategic and security concern, these features help the country to be sure what is happening where in the hands of citizens as well. So at a time when minting coins in a digital era becomes slightly jaded, you're still keeping alive uh, metal and metal processing towards uh, keeping the country's uh, signature or its uh, remarkable tokens or signs through which certain features can be remembered. So you've kept yourself relevant. And uh, that is where I think uh, the institution's vibrancy comes out clearly. The quantum of gold that you've refined is also something which is noteworthy and I would certainly think it is well within the keeping well within uh, keeping well within the security considerations. These are features which I would think the Indian citizens should be informed and they should be given a chance to appreciate the good work that you're doing. Because I think it was in 21 or probably 20 budget that we had decided through the Finance Act that gold will be sent to the SPMCIL to uh, refine because they are seized gold and their purity might vary. But you have made remarkable contribution in that. Since 22-23, uh, you have refined 5,300 kgs of gold. Involves a high level of security, involves a high level of preci precision, which is so required. And uh, the CBIC, therefore, is now able to stand up and say the seized gold doesn't lie in lockers, which whose security will also have to be kept in mind. So this adds to one of the... Uh, brownie points, if I may say, to the SPMCIL's performance records. And also, Deepam should be extremely happy for the dividend that you're paying. 533.77 crores paid for the year 22-23. I also understand that the security printing press in Hyderabad has completed successfully a pilot project of smart cards for the Indian Army in particular. So these are specialized work which no sovereign government would want to, even on a testing and trial basis, give it to anybody else. It will certainly have to be something on which only the SPM, CIL will have to sharp focus and uh, build the capacity for it and specialize in it. I'm glad to know that you are uh, rising to the occasion on this. 
today I was glad also to issue and uh, release the coins one is the greater one horned rhino very rare species you've really stood up again on that in highlighting a uh, endangered species and as is also the release of uh, the coins commemorating the ramjan bhumi the new temple and also the ram lala who who's uh, got consec- consecrated when uh, honorable prime minister himself attended the pro- project so i appreciate that you've also done some kind of a csr activities looking at aspirational districts within andhra pradesh also looking at development works in some districts again and aspirational in madhya pradesh and so on but uh, i would really appreciate that the organization keeps this tempo in uh, keeping itself relevant keeping itself highly professional and above all performing uh, as per the needs of the country and uh, looking forward to an era which is going to be digital where the coin may not be required where the currency may, notes may not be required so you are actually uh, performing in an era where your core business will probably become a token rather than uh, an all per- pervasive carrier of the value of the currency so you have to look at and introspect as to how when the core business is getting depleted not because of your performance but because the priorities of the country are moving we are moving to a digital era where is it that you have the future for your contribution where are the areas of your specialization what is it that you can keep as your core activity to expand and grow in the future particularly if you're looking at a developed india of 2047 so it's all very well for us to also keep doing very well the earlier core jobs of printing currencies or minting coins now they are moving towards either becoming a uh, celebratory rather than a circulatory matter so i would leave this thought behind to the managers and also those who are part and parcel of running of these institutions as to how you um, transfer yourself how you uh, walk on the bridge towards a new developed india a new digital india and a new country which is looking forward to push all frontiers using technology so thank you very much for giving me the occasion to be with you all today i greet you once again on your 19th foundation day thank you very much thank you ma'am thank you for acknowledging the efforts of spmcil and recognizing the contribution of spmcil in all the business areas we assure you we'll keep doing our best and now with this we have reached to the end of the program and i express my gratitude to the honorable finance minister for having spared her valuable time and sharing her insights with us on this occasion today madam we are highly obliged by your gracious presence today and i'm also thankful to secretary department of economic affairs advisor administration and cnc board of directors of spmcil chairman and managing director spmcil all chief general managers senior officers individual awardees employee representatives of the apex bipartite forum trust cells sc st obc associations i'm also thankful to all who have been directly or indirectly involved in making this event a grand success i congratulate the entire spm cell fraternity on this 19th foundation day and conclude with the following words on this collective voyage we sail the sea guided by a shared vision strong and free in our team every effort echoes loud a chorus of commitment strong and proud together we strive to reach new heights in teamwork we ignite new lights in teamwork we make the futures bright thank you all once again for joining us have a good day thank you thank you
kind <coughs> with kind permission of chair i request all the person other than the board member of the scmcl and cnc madam to leave the hall thank you <coughs>